What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Kelly Chan. I'm back with another video, man. What's going on with y'all today? Oh man, it's nice and sunny out here. It ain't hot, but it's you know the sun's out. It's looking good out. It's a good day to be out. You know what I'm saying? really want to be by the water but I know today is probably crowded so uh, just going to visit family today I'm gonna visit my grand my grandparents grandma and granddad uh, nothing to really do for real got an interview tomorrow a new job so I'm excited about that let's go Saying, let's keep it going. I know I haven't posted in a couple days. Uh, I got to give y'all a video. Um, we almost there at 2,000 subscribers. I need y'all to keep keep it going. Keep keep sharing the videos. Keep sharing with your friends. Get them get them subscribers to 2,000. And I'm gonna be giving out. Uh, RC motor. I'm not gonna tell y'all what kind of motor it is yet, but y'all gonna see. And then when it's that time, I'm gonna go on live with it and announce the winner. But before I do that, I'm gonna make a video letting everybody know that you know I need y'all to um, put y'all names, and, uh, addresses down, or email address. However, you know. Whatever uh, form of way that you perform, uh, my bad, I'm stumbling my words again. Um, whatever way you prefer a contact method. So whether it's text, call, email, you know, whatever it is, I'm gonna give you a call before I go live and you let me know where I need to send it to or you know if you want me to send it to a PO box or whatever. Get that to you go live and show everybody that the giveaway is real you don't have to pay anything out of pocket it's coming out of my pockets so it's gonna be uh this one gonna be a free raffle on me so the more the channel grows the better the giveaways it be and you know i'm excited for this journey so you know i appreciate y'all rocking with me let's keep it going guys um it's getting ready to warm up soon, so we're gonna be having more RC content coming. I just ordered some, uh, I ordered a 6S battery for the Fortec, because I ran it on 4S and it's a 6L motor and a 6L ESC in it. Um, I still gotta play with the gearing though, because I think I, right now it's like set up for like speed run gearing. So, gotta take care of that. Um, but all the, all the batteries should be here um, by the 8th. So hopefully it's nice out by then because you know we can get it going and get y'all some more content, some more footage up there. Um I'm mad that I, my Facebook got hacked because I was in the group with all the RC guys, all the you know, all the from all over the world. Um but most mostly Michigan and you know, it was Michigan, Atlanta, Florida. There's a lot of different states, but you know, I'm in Michigan, so I was connected with everybody that's in the uh, Michigan R RC drag racing. And I was going to you know, link with everybody and try to get another um, big event going. Because I didn't get to record the last one. It was just, you know, it was just having, we was having so much fun. It was just, you know, spare the moment. I wasn't really prepared for it. So it was a lot of people though, it was a lot of fun. Um, there was no drama. Uh, you know, people were just cooking out there, just laughing, having fun. Um, people had drones, they had they had their tents out there. It was just, it was just a whole lot of fun, guys. And you know, who would have thought that that many people can come together? Like, I wish I could have got, got it on footage, cause it was, it was definitely a sight to see. Like, you got 
guys like we would have wished it was there like it, it was fun for sure like i didn't know that this that many people was into the sport but now i see like rc is big it's real big um so i just want to keep growing and eventually i want to start you know touring and racing guys in other other uh cities other states and stuff and just you know just to you know show you guys what other guys is working with because it's, it's a lot of fast people out there it ain't just michigan ain't the fat i mean well we could be you got some of the fastest uh some of the fastest rc people but um it's fast people all over the world so What up, dog? Fuck you, up. Gonna ping you real quick. What you doing after that? Nothing. Call me. I'm about to go to trade shit. All right. All right. Sorry about that, guys. I just seen my cousin. Um, where was I? Where I leave off at? Um, where I left off at but um yeah it was it was a lot of fun guys but oh I know where I left off at um I was saying where I wanted to start touring and racing different people in other states and cities because I know it's a lot of fast people out there and you know you might soak up more knowledge and you know might can even come become more faster than you already is or somebody you know might know where to get something that you don't know how to where to get it's just always good to to uh what they call it rub elbows with people and just get connected with people and you know just yeah just just connecting with people and because then you never know you have a big event and then people from out of town will come you know come to your event and you know and then you go to theirs it's like the last event that we had uh, it was produced by RC Tay or uh, DJ All Digital and um, it was a lot of people it was people from Ohio uh, people from Chicago and it was, it was just fun you know everybody everybody had fun nobody got in their feelings about about a loss or you know, just, it was just all out fun. Win, lose, or draw, you know, we all had fun. I, I won my first race, but then my second race, my um, my wires for the, the uh, not the servo, the, um, excuse me, guys. Uh, not the servo, but the, um, uh, ooh, uh, Got a brain fart there, but the um, oh, man, uh, messing up, y'all, messing up. Um, the. The part that's connected to the um to the remote the whew, I just got a brain fart right now like I just I just can't even I can't even think of it right now like that's just that's how crowded my brain is right now like it's like it's on the tip of my tongue like I know I know what it is but I can't think of it right now and it's making me bad that I can't think about it, but it's the, you know, the part that it's the, it comes in, in like a box. It's not an ESC, but I just can't remember the name of it right now. Like I, I know exactly what it is, but it's bugging me that I, I can't remember what it is because I just, I don't know, my head is hurting right now. Um, but I just had to make sure I get y'all a video because I know I haven't posted in a few days. Um, the last video I posted, 
I had to take it down because I didn't like it. It just looked as sloppy to me. Uh, but yeah, um, <sighs> oh, I'm sorry, yeah, I'm just um, one second, yeah, one second. It's not the gearbox either that I'm thinking of. Uh, it's the... The receiver. That's what I'm thinking of, the receiver. It just... Man, it just... But yeah, the, the receiver... Um, the wires that's, that was inside my receiver... So, they wasn't pushed in all the way. So on my second race, when I took off, it went for a second and then it just stopped. Like, just like, just, it was like, and then stopped. So it was, it was cause my, my wires had came out. And so of course, you know, I lost the race cause we had to buy into the race. It was uh, $50 to get into the race and whoever, you know, whoever uh, won it all won the the first place first place prize, and I think it was uh, either five hundred or a thousand dollars. Excuse me. And like the first race, the guy was talking to me like real greasy at the line. I was just sitting there quiet, not saying nothing in my Kobe mode, my Mamba mode, and let the car speak for itself. And that boy just <laughs> took off on him. And he was stunned. He was shocked because I just had a plain, um, a, a plain painted body that was like home painted uh, that that uh, Ray had did for me. It was like a last minute, um, last minute paint job, and I ended up going out there with that body, and I had some some stickers on it that was uh the the sticker was green lantern but it looked it it looked it so whack like but you know I, it was a, it was a slept on car so i didn't i didn't care about the bodies at, at the time i just care about the, the you know the speed or whatever and you know just winning the race because that's really all that matter anyway but you know you want to look good while you're doing it so that's where the bodies come in at so that's the that's the only thing though. I love I love those um hydro dip bodies. Oh my god. But my two Gucci bodies I don't really like too much because they I mean it's nice, don't get me wrong, but it could be a lot better. It's just a little bit too plain to me. I want something that's gonna be an eye catcher, like, you know, as soon as they see it, they be like, Oh, I like that, you know. That with that Gucci is like okay, you know it's it's nice, but you know we not gonna say nothing about it. Like that's how that is. And then I'm not I'm not really a big fan of red either. Like I don't like red too much. But it's it's nice on certain stuff though. Uh, yeah, I got some some stuff coming from A Main Hobbies. Um, so I got a new. Got a new body for the bandit coming. Um, I'm gonna send that out to get a hydro dip. 
I got a new body for the Limitless. I got a, a GT body, so it's getting converted over to the Limitless GT. So, um, I'm going to send that body out with the Bandit body. I'm going to send both of those out at the same time. So, they're going to they gonna coincide with each other, though. Like, the, the two different, the two characters is going to be, like, in the same, um, in the same uh, movie, cartoon, or whatever. So, I'm gonna, you know, I'm not gonna tell y'all what it is because then somebody might steal my idea. But when y'all see it, y'all gonna be like, "Oh yeah, that was nice. He came with a nice one." But um, yeah, I just want to get all everything hydro dip. Um, let me know if I should lead the the Fortec uh with the Corvette body plane like it is. Or should I go get a you know a plain body and get that one shipped out too, and get that painted, you know? Um, and that that I haven't decided yet. I may just leave it plain, or I may end up painting all black, and you know have it like the Batmobile, you know, all black vet. But I like that silver, you know, it's like the the silver surfer. That's what I call it right now, the silver surfer. But I'm, I'm curious to see um, see it on run on 6S because I only ran it on 4S and it's not a 4 cell motor in it. So it didn't see nearly much as its, its full potential. So, excuse me. Um, so I'm hoping that the 6S battery that I ordered, uh, hopefully it fits. Um, I ordered a 6S GNS battery. I don't, I didn't even know Janae's had a 6S battery until I seen it. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm hoping that works because I'm ready to get that car on the road and get it to it. Well, it's already on the road, but it's, it's not running like how it's supposed to. So I'm ready to get that car running like a serpent. That's, that's my goal. I want the Fortec running like a serpent. So if I got to keep changing, keep swapping out the gears to to see what works or swap out the motor and put a different 6S motor in there, then that's what we're going to do. But I'm not putting that car on 4S, whatever it takes. So if the, if the 6S battery don't fit, then I'm going to end up selling that and try to find a, a compact 6S battery that will fit. So, or maybe I have to change up the body to make it fit, but somehow we're going to get it in there. And somehow I'm gonna get y'all some footage. You know what I'm saying? I gotta get y'all footage with all the cars. So the, the Limitless will be back done soon. I, if if y'all been watching me throughout this whole journey, then y'all seen when I crashed my Limitless and now I decided to turn it into, and I mean, I guess you can call it an infraction or, but they really are the same thing. But it's not gonna be really a limitless no more because it's not gonna have that aer aerodynamicness to it. It's gonna have a, a actual body on there, a real car body. It's gonna have a, you know, the GT body. I'm not gonna show y'all the body until it's painted because you know you can't really see it too good until it's painted. So, um, see any other updates? Um, what else did that or? I ordered aluminum battery trays for the um, Limitless as well because I tore up my battery trays. Um, I had to get a whole new chassis. I, I the chassis wasn't cracked, but it was it was bent, so I had to get a whole new chassis for it. Um, the gears are still intact. The motor is still intact. I had to get a new ESC, so. For those of you that know, I was running a um, Castle XLX. So I'm trying out the Castle XLX 2. See how that does in there. And if I don't like what it does, then I'm just going to switch to a Mamba Monster X8S. Because I'm not going to run it on 12S anyway. So I just think that's just doing too much. But... I mean, to each his own, you know. 
I, I'm not saying I wouldn't do it in the future, but you know, I'm not really into speed runs too much. So, but once I start getting into speed runs, then I I definitely do the the dual motors and you know all the crazy stuff. And I definitely got to get a GPS so I can start you know showing you guys how fast to go and just try to improve on the speed and if I got to or you know if it's at the speed that I'm comfortable with then you know my goal is not to be the fastest but one of the fastest like it's it's kind of hard to be faster than every single person especially when they you know they putting the money in it just like you is so um best thing to do is just you know just You know, but it, it is it's a competitive sport, so you know it's always gonna have had that had its ups. And, everything got its ups and downs. The downs, the downside is you know it, it costs like a real car do, but at the end it's it's fun to me. So I don't you know I don't mind spending the money on something that I know I can keep continue to play with as long as I don't tear it up. Because then I tear it up, I got to spend more money and. and on getting it back fixed and you know that's why i try not to tear it up um but you know i let the last race i let my pride get in the way and i still ended up tearing it up so yeah you know it is what it is cost me about 650 to get it fixed but i'm just glad that everything on there didn't break because it could have been a lot worse than it was so thankful for that because uh, that you know that's unnecessary money like i said so they could have went towards something else could have went you know could have went towards anything but it is what it is you know you want to you want to have fun you got to spend the money you want to you want to be one of the fastest guys you got to spend the money it's, it's just that simple guys um you want you want a hundred miles per hour car you got to spend the money it's just, it's not gonna it's not gonna just come when you you know you taking the 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 cheap route out i mean sometimes you can't take the cheap route out because like just like with the batteries the voltage is voltage but some batteries out there got a little more got a little more push or force to it so you want to go with that whatever got the you know whatever got that that better kickback to it and that's what i you know try to i didn't we didn't try it out we tried out uh, quite a few different batteries um thunder power i like those but the highest is adc so you know if they made 100 c or 120 c I would definitely get one, but for them to still have 70 C and 80 C max, and they charging what they charging, I'm like no, I could just go and get a, a Gen Ace or a Power Hobby, and you know, come out cheaper than with with a higher C burst rating, then I can go on to get the Thunder Power, and you know spend all that money for a lower c rating when i got more punch with this other battery so you know because those batteries got it's a i think it's a 120 c and it's a 240 c max burst so it can take up to 240 c so that mug steady pushing those batteries max out they 70 c the thunder power so those batteries max out at 140 c so you see the difference so it's, just, it's all about the voltage and the motors matter too the, the motors definitely matter the motors and the gear the esc all of it plays a factor so you know you, you can have you can have a you can have a nice motor you can have the best motor and the best esc but if you don't have that gear ratio down, then it's just not going to work. It's you still still going to be having problems. You're still going to be losing. 
you know, you but you might you might have a uh, top end or you know, you might have yeah, you might have a top end and somebody gets you on a takeoff. You know, it's it's hard to play catch up once somebody gets you on that takeoff. It's like now you got to play catch up. So if they are already in the middle of the race and you trying to catch up, your speed come at the end and it's it's too late. They already crossed the finish line. But not not that 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 takeoff is you you want you want to have miles per hour and and a uh, torque because the, the torque is what gets you that that faster takeoff. The miles per hour is what you're gonna need once you already take off and you can still keep climbing, keep going faster. Because if you got both of them, then you a bad man, jammer. Because they ain't going to be able to touch you. And I'm telling you from first hand. Because I, I didn't seen it happen. And I didn't I didn't done it before. And it didn't happen to me before I even started getting my cars fast. I got whooped on. You got you to gotta lose some before you can win. And before you can start learning the concept of how to win. You got to figure out. Hey, what was I doing wrong? What can I what can I improve on? What can I adjust? So, you know, just keep making adjustments, keep figuring out different stuff. And like, trust me, I'm I'm still learning to this day. And we've been in the RC game for about about a good five, six years. And I'm still I'm still learning new stuff and still trying to figure out stuff because I, I don't know everything. I don't know everything at all. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to y'all like I do. Um, and like some stuff I didn't, I didn't spoke on that I really, you know, didn't know too well. And you know that was my fault for not asking without, you know, going, you know, finding out what I needed to know before I, because you know I, I don't do that. I don't try to give out no false information. I want to make sure everything is everything before I come to y'all with it. So I'm just keep doing my research and keep trying out different. Like I got to get these gear ratios down. I'm, that's the that's what I'm lacking in right now. Like trying to figure out the gear ratios because it's, it's been so. Because we we had stopped doing the RCs for a minute for like a good year or so. I want to say a good year or two. Stop doing them and then pick back up on it. Because it's just, you know, it's a fun hobby to have. Um, You know, like, I like buying shoes too, but, you know, you buy shoes, you mess them up, and you got to go buy another pair. But you buy these and you fix them up. Only way you have to go buy more parts is if you tear it up. Or unless you just want it faster than what it is, then that's on you. You know what I'm saying? But if nobody's just out there whooping you, then what's the point of, you know, changing it? I wouldn't change it unless you need to. If you're winning, if it works, then why change it? Don't You ain't got to change nothing that's working. So, you know, I know I've been talking for a while. So I'm trying to get these longer videos and I'm trying to, you know, just keep going, just keep giving y'all conversation, keep interacting with y'all in the comments. Um, I'm answering all comments, so feel free to give y'all feedback. Um, just, you know, feel free. Whatever, whatever y'all like to see, feel free to drop that comment down below. Um, whatever videos y'all like best, let me know. And I'll do those more. Um, let me know if y'all like the vlogs. I'm definitely going to do the, do more of those. Um, I'm getting more comfortable behind the mic. So, you know, earlier I just had a little brain fart. So, it was, it was uh, that was the longest one I'd have had. Because that was, that was about five minutes long. I just, I couldn't remember. I'm like, it's on the tip of my tongue. I know what it is, but... 
I just couldn't conjure up the words. But um, I'm finna go in here, uh, check on my grandparents, and see how they doing. Um, I get with y'all later. Appreciate y'all watching the video. Um, did you, if you're new to the channel, need you to hit that bell. Need you to turn on post notifications. Need you to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And we, y'all, peace.